the Tesla Cybertruck is going to absolutely obliterate the competition and I mean obliterate now there are many reasons why the Tesla Cybertruck is way better than you think way way better there is not a single video on YouTube that I have found that really illustrates just how good the Cybertruck is going to be. Here are 87 reasons why the Tesla Cybertruck will outsell the Ford F-150 by 2024. Yes, I'm very serious. I really believe the Tesla Cybertruck will outsell the Ford F-150 by 2024. And I'm so confident in fact that this will happen that I'm willing to attempt to eat my shirt on camera if this doesn't happen. I'll try very hard. I'll cut it up into little pieces. So why do I think the Cybertruck will outsell the Ford F-150 by 2024? The biggest reason, it's a better vehicle than anything Ford could make. Ford don't have the capacity to make enough batteries. And when people realize just how amazing the Cybertruck is, just how much thought and effort and expertise and skill that has gone into the Cybertruck. And when they see their friend driving one, they'll want one too. And what's gonna happen is, those 850,000 pre-orders that Tesla has now will only increase 900, 950, a million by the time they're mass producing next year in 2022, a million and 50, 1.1 million. Eventually, Tesla will have to be making so many of these to supply demand that they'll probably never be able to keep up to the, with demand. Let's get serious, guys. I mean, who else is about to mass produce a truck that accelerates faster than a Porsche 911? Looks as radical as a Lamborghini, was motivated by Blade Runner, inspired by the video game Halo, and incredibly tows more than an F. Cybertruck has 857,000 pre-orders already. The people have already spoken and they love it. The only thing that's going to happen is more people will buy it, more people will love it. Really, these pre-orders, well before the product will even come onto market, show the absolutely incredible strength of Tesla's brand. Those 857,000 pre-orders come from all around the world, even from countries where very few similarly sized vehicles exist. Many European countries, Asian countries, don't have anything available for purchase at all on the market currently that is sized similarly to the Cybertruck. They have smaller cars, that vehicles they call utes, but nothing of the Tesla Cybertruck size. That includes the truck-loving country of Australia, where here we have nothing as big as the Cybertruck. Everything else is significantly smaller, and yet Australia is the third largest market for pre-orders with 18,000 approximately, maybe 20,000 by the time this video comes out. So Don, for you and all the other Tesla skeptics out there, here are 87 reasons why I predict the Tesla Cybertruck will be the highest selling vehicle in Canada, the US and Australia by 2025. Look it, I guarantee this will happen. The highest selling vehicle in Australia, Canada and the US by 2025. First reason, lower cost of ownership. The cost of servicing a Cybertruck is much lower than other trucks. Depending on use, it will be approximately 50% cheaper to own versus an F-150. Point number two, you don't actually need to service an electric vehicle at all. That's hugely convenient. Point number three, there is no need to replace brake pads and rotors every year. One of the reasons why I hate stopping at traffic lights is because every time I do, I know it's costing me money. However, in an electric vehicle, that's not the case. Stopping just recharges your battery. How awesome is that? Number four, cost of ownership is way better than a comparable internal combustion engine truck. No matter how good it is, if it's internal combustion, it cannot compete with electric. Number five, electricity is cheaper than gas or diesel. Now I've heard some absolute bullshit about this not being the case in some countries and then I've researched what people have said and found that it was wrong. There's not a country in the world where electricity will cost more than gas, diesel, petrol, whatever you want to call it. Number six, Tesla motors and batteries have consistently been more efficient than the competition. Number seven, 
it won't get wrecked in a flood. Musk tweeted, a Tesla works as a boat for a short period of time, as an electric car has no intake or exhaust to block. And the battery, motor and electronics are water sealed. Submarines are just underwater EVs. I don't know about that, but um, I can see his point. Number eight, the massive space, ample storage and practicality. The thing I noticed most at the Cybertruck reveal, and which has really not been mentioned often since, is the massive interior room and head height for front and rear passengers. The huge glass roof that is standard will create the impression of even more space. The problem with a lot of the trucks on the market in countries outside of North America is it's very hard to sit three grown men or, f or women but it's very hard to fit three grown adults in the back and extremely uncomfortable for those adults to sit in uh, one of the trucks that are sold outside of North America, so like the Ford Ranger or the Toyota Hilux. But you can see in the reveal video that the Cybertruck has a really big back seat where three adults can easily fit in there very, very comfortably. That's a game changer. Number nine, not only is the interior spacious, but it can seat six people. The middle seat can be changed to be a shelf, armrest, or a seat. So the front middle seat can be a shelf, armrest, or seat. Pickup trucks in Australia, the UK, Europe, Asia, five people at best, and those five are usually pretty squashed in. So this feature of having six seats is gonna enable many families to not have to buy a van or a seven seat SUV. Number 10, Cybertruck is also wide enough in the rear for three normal sized men, there are no non-imported Australian utes that are comfortable for three normal sized men in the rear and definitely no Australian pickups that have three seats in the front. Number 11, the Cybertruck has better storage than any other truck with similar exterior dimensions and it's not even close. It has space for your toolbox, tire and your Cyberquad with room to spare. Number 12, Cybertruck has a total of 100 cubic feet of enclosed exterior storage. That's almost double a Ford Ranger. And that includes the under the bed storage, the frunk storage and sail pillar storage. It's also double the storage of most popular Australian, European and Asian trucks, like the Ranger and the Hilux. Number 13. Since the Cybertruck has no engine, you gain a huge, usable, lockable storage space at the front where the engine in an ice truck would normally be. You know, I've heard so many stories, countless stories of people having utes, trucks, where their tools were stolen. Uh, even if they had a some sort of cover on it, it was too easy for thieves to get in. But if you put your most expensive tools in the front, it's going to be pretty much impossible to break into that. And then at the back, the lockable enclosure, I think people aren't even going to try and I'll explain why they're not going to try later. Number 14. The Cybertruck has no transmission tunnel eating into interior space. Obviously, transmission tunnels eat into space in most vehicle, most internal combustion engine vehicles. Number 15. Rear armrest pass-through for extra long cargo. Musk has mentioned that they're going to have a pass-through the back armrest that will enable you to put in super long things and can go through the back of the truck all the way to the back of the tray. That's going to be awesome. Number 16, built-in loading ramp for things like motorbikes, small diggers, ride-on mowers and a huge array of other heavy items. There's been so many times when I personally have had to have had say a broken down ride-on lawnmower and there was no way I could get it into my trailer. It was very very hard to get it into my trailer let alone trying to get it into a ute or a truck. Virtually impossible without something to lift it up. So this is gonna be a huge game changer. Number 17, the tray has a built-in recess that allows for storage holders and makes it easier to attach things to the bed. Number 18, there's hidden storage side sail panels. Rather than paying for ram blocks, uh, most thieves are not even gonna know those, those storage sail panels in the side even exist. So if you've got really expensive stuff, stick it in there. Number 19, the Cybertruck has a modern and clean interior. Most trucks, to me, and I think to a lot of people, look ancient and dated inside. I mean, you look at an F-150 or other trucks from GM and Ram, and the interior has like a thousand buttons. And working out what you're gonna do with all those thousand buttons, I have no idea how you even figure them out. Secondly, why on earth would you need that many buttons in there? 
So really, let's be straight. Trucks now, the interior looks dated, old, and really cheap. Number 20, the supremely practical bed or tray is far superior than those in other trucks. Tesla Cybertruck has a really, I mean, let's just be straight. It's an awesome bed. Have a look at it. You can see. Tesla calls it a vault, which makes a lot of sense when you have a look at it. Anyway, the Cybertruck's bed is finished in the same stainless steel as the rest of the body, and it measures 6.5 foot long, which is longer and it's also wider than any other truck or ute on the market in Australia, I believe also in Asia, and in Europe. In those countries, we have to import the F-150 or the equivalent vehicle, say the Ram 1500, and then actually move the steering wheel to the other side of the vehicle, which takes a lot of work and it actually costs a lot of money as well. So this will be the only full-sized pickup truck available in the UK, Australia, and I think also in Japan, which will be converted to right-hand drive in the factory by Tesla, which will save an enormous amount of money for us buyers over here in the UK, Australia and Japan. 21. The 6.5 foot long bed makes it much longer and more practical to its most obvious competitor, which is obviously the electric Rivian pickup. The Cybertruck's bed is bigger than the Rivian and the Cybertruck's cheaper. It's really a no-brainer here. Number 22. The Cybertruck has no intrusion from the wheel wells, so it is a clean rectangular volume in the bed space. Horizontal accessory rails are positioned beneath the diagonal sail panels stretching from the tailgate to the roof peak, and Tesla says that those panels will even boast their own storage compartments. Number 23. Open the tailgate and you will find a slide-out loading ramp that allows wheeled things to be rolled up into the bed. As you can see in the reveal, that is a game changer. It also has 120 and 220 volt charging outlets as well as an air compressor built into the bed. That is going to be a huge benefit to tradespeople. Now there are people saying that tradespeople won't want it because of the shape of the bed. But if you think of the actual features you're getting here, 120 and 220 volt charging outlets and an air compressor, they can run off a huge battery. You could basically run those, those outlets for a month without recharging the battery. That's something massively beneficial to tradespeople. And the entire bed can be secured by an integrated roll-up garage door style tonneau cover, which also is said to help aerodynamic efficiency. To me, this feature alone is amazing. Number 24. As the bed is made of stainless steel, there's no paint finish, which means no scratches when off-roading, no rust, no chip paint or door dings to worry about when throwing things in the bed, don't have to worry about wrecking it. I love that. Number 25. The rear cargo area is lockable thanks to the strong metal tonneau cover that you can stand on. This means the truck bed can be secured or locked without having to pay for extras from Ford, NGM or whoever else you buy them from. The motorized cover stores under the body so it costs you no extra to lock your tools away in the vehicle. Number 26. The truck has a sloping bed cover that gives the bed much greater volume than traditional pickups. You can see, obviously, you're getting at least a third more volume because of the sloping style of the bed. Number 27. The way the loading ramp folds into the rear gate is genius from Elon. I mean, seriously, you don't even need to store a loading gate in the bed, which I've had to do on a number of occasions. So you can just drive machinery like rod on mowers, motorbikes, quad bikes, or small excavators straight up into the bed without having to carry around huge ramps with you. This is going to be unreal. Huh? great feature. 28. The tailgate has an integrated footstep, slope sides to divert debris, and an integrated loading ramp, obviously. As I... Number 29. The Cybertruck comes with sentry mode, which is basically an alarm detection system. So if someone comes near your vehicle and touches it, the sentry mode detects what's the intrusion. It sounds an alarm, um, and it plays the stereo, the stereo speakers at full noise, and the big 17-inch screen will light up and say you're being recorded. So it starts to record the intruder. Based on that, the fact that it's got lockable covers and sentry mode, it'd be nearly impossible for people to steal your tools or items used. This is a game changer. This will matter. Number 30. There are old track rails and T-slots in the bed that will allow users to place anchor points anywhere in the vehicle's 6.5 foot bed and there's also integrated tie down. These are normally things you pay on the aftermarket to get put into. 31. No aftermarket truck bed covers or bed liners are required here. 32. 
Truck bed lighting is awesome for nighttime and camping. You won't have to worry about killing your battery when using it. Number 33. The Cybertruck has an integrated storage compartment in and under the truck bed. Now this is a place where you could put valuable things that no one is ever going to find and if they did want to get in there they'd have to get through two layers of security in addition to sentry mode. So you could use that for storing your gold nuggets or something else. Number 34. The truly panoramic full glass roof. The Cybertruck has a roof made from transparent armor glass. On any other vehicle, this would be referred to as a panoramic roof. But because we're talking the bonkers Tesla truck here, consider it a fancy viewing portal for watching SpaceX rockets blast into the sky from inside the cab. It's not just a sunroof, it's a huge glass roof. Reason number 35, the roof glass will be made from armor glass, which will be about 10 times stronger than the glass used in other truck vehicles. This will help for withstanding force from things like brushes with tree branches, big hailstones, or any other things that would damage ordinary glass. Number 36, no paint is needed. Now this is a huge advantage and some people I've spoken to who have four-wheel drives or utes have mentioned this being a big one. The advantages of no color and having no paint, or if you want to, you can wrap it and have any color or image or design that you want. But the advantage of having the Cybertruck with no paint is enormous. Tesla's really taken a page here from Ford's 100-year-old playbook for the Model T. So they're offering the Cybertruck in just a single color and this is gonna tremendously speed up production of the Cybertruck. Having the bottleneck at the paint factory is going to make them be able to manufacture these trucks at a lower and better price point than the competition. So the only available exterior finish is bare unpainted stainless steel, obviously. Apparently Ford's Model T only sold in black for a long time to streamline the manufacturing process. Now, having no paint, it's a huge advantage because you aren't gonna scratch your paint when you go forward driving. To me, that is a huge thing. When I hear that noise and I think, ah, and is my paint scratching from that bush? Well, you won't have to worry about that. 37, you can get absolutely any color or design you want, or you can get no paint. But really, a lot of people will want a color, so they'll wrap it, and they'll wrap it in camo, they'll wrap it in carbon fiber, they'll wrap it in all kinds of different designs. And that's pretty cool, having a blank canvas that you can design anything from. Not just a paint job, you can put stripes on there, you can put anything on there. Number 38, Tesla's 4680 battery efficiency and performance is several years ahead of the competition. And if you don't believe me, just go and read what Volkswagen CEO recently said about Tesla. If the CEOs of other major automakers are admitting that Tesla is years ahead, then it's safe to say Tesla is years ahead. The Cybertruck will have lighter and more energy dense 4680 batteries. In addition to that, I believe those 4680 batteries will provide a million mile range battery. So you're getting a battery that will outlast the car. Number 39, a battery this size can be used as backup power for your house or to power your campsite. So just imagine that the power goes out in your suburb, there's a storm or something like that, and other people will have to hope that it comes back on within a day so that their groceries aren't ruined, but you would be able to plug in your Cybertruck to your house to have subsidiary power to, to power things like your refrigerator or your freezer. That, to me, is a game changer. Number 40. Tesla provides ongoing battery software and vehicle improvements via over-the-air updates over the life of your car. So Tesla is still providing updates to people who purchased cars as much as 10 years ago. There is no other automaker in the world that provides any updates to their cars. Some of them promise that they will do so, but no one's doing it yet. And the likelihood of them providing you with free updates is, to be honest, let's be frank, highly, highly unlikely. They've never done it before and suggesting that they're going to do it in the future is just a pipe dream. Tesla's been doing this from day one and that's one of the amazing things about the brand about owning a tesla waking up in the morning and realizing your car has been updated with new features new power more efficiency games anything like that it's incredible what an experience reason number 41 price spec for spec model for model the cybertruck will be cheaper than the competition period now obviously gm ford rivian and ram will all eventually bring out their own competition but spec for spec and price for price they have no hope of competing with tesla the simple reality is none of them actually create and manufacture their own battery cells. And that is the biggest cost of the car. And Tesla will manufacture their own battery cells for the Cybertruck, which will give them an unassailable lead on price. Number 42. No idling is needed in an electric vehicle, and that means no pollution, diesel or gas 
petrol fumes when using aircon or using the truck as a generator. Now, in my experience, uh, being around the trade industry, tradies leave their cars on idle all the time for various reasons. Some I don't understand, but they leave them on idle all the time. So basically, they're sitting around in a haze of diesel fumes, drinking that in, and it's going to be a huge benefit when that's not happening anymore, when you're not having to stand around other people who are gassing you and themselves out. 43. I mentioned this earlier, but I didn't mention this as an individual benefit, but I think it's worth doing so. 4680 battery cells have up to 1 million miles of range. So after the truck is totaled, or it's just worn out after 20 years, you'll be able to reuse the batteries for a million different purposes. Just jump on eBay if you don't believe me and have a look at how many thousands of Tesla Model S batteries are being sold. Obviously, people are finding many things to do with them. So you'll have a huge battery that you'll be able to use for whatever you want to use it for, for your house, for your caravan, for anything, your holiday home. Number 44, the solar roof will add a small amount of range. So Tesla's going to give you the option of getting a solar roof cover on the rear of the bed. And this is the kind of thing you could use for example, if you were parking your vehicle outside your office, um, that'd be cool. You could jump back in your car at the end of the day and you'd have an extra 15 miles of range. Or you could park it potentially when you're camping. Maybe your battery went flat and if you ran out of fuel, you're stuck. But if you run out of battery charge, all you got to do is be patient and you'll get another 15 miles of range. And eventually you'd be able to get yourself out of there. So that's an amazing feature. And really, it's a huge benefit of having an electric vehicle versus having a, an ICE vehicle. Number 45, the incredibly hard-wearing body will smash the competition. Honestly, truck buyers will love having a body that doesn't scratch, doesn't get dented easily, as you can see from the video. When being hit by a sledgehammer, nothing happened. Truck buyers will love having the exoskeleton body, having a body made of steel. A lot of F-150 buyers have complained about having an an aluminium bed. They don't like the fact that Ford changed from the steel to aluminium bed. Well, Tesla Cybertruck, all steel and all steel that's used in the SpaceX rocket. Just think about that for a minute. If you're driving a Cybertruck, you're driving the same material that's on the SpaceX Falcon Heavy rocket. That's pretty cool. Number 46, body panels that are very hard to dent, stainless steel, shell will mitigate dents, damage, and corrosion. Now, I know this sounds similar to number 45, but it's actually different because corrosion is a big thing, huge thing, in fact, for all vehicles, they rust. Now, having a truck that maybe you, you live near the beach where corrosion is a huge problem, having a vehicle that isn't gonna rust is pretty awesome. Number 47, the Cybertruck will be virtually bulletproof. And this might not sound necessary to most people. If you live in Australia, you probably won't care about this unless you're one of the bikies, then it might matter. But if you think you don't need a bulletproof vehicle, I think maybe you should think again. Check out this video of a Tesla Model 3 being shot at recently. Now, the fact that these people didn't die when their car was riddled with bullets for doing nothing at all, as far as we can tell, is a miracle. Number 48, speed. Who doesn't want to go fast? And who, really, everyone wants bragging rights. They do. You can pretend you don't, but the truth is you do. You can't tell me that you're not going to like the fact that the Cybertruck that you just bought can go faster than a Porsche 911. That's cool. That's super cool. Number 49, it's now well established that Teslas are really, really quick. Electric motors serve up strong torque from zero RPM unlike ICE vehicles, which need to build up revs before they make peak power and torque. The Cybertruck will have near limitless power from its electric motors, which will give it insane acceleration from zero RPMs. Tesla says that the two-wheel drive model will go from zero to 100 in 6.5, or zero to 60 miles per hour, sorry, zero to 100 kilometers an hour in 6.5 seconds. That's only a half a second behind the Ford F-150 Raptor. Even more incredible, the tri-motor Tesla Cybertruck will do 0 to 60 miles per hour, 0 to 100 kilometers per hour in just 2.9 seconds. And that's faster than most supercars, making it by far the fastest truck in the world. It's twice as fast at 60 as the Ford F-150 Raptor. That is just crazy. Now, to me, a big benefit of this speed is actually not just the speed, but the way the speed is delivered. 
I drive a diesel vehicle at the moment. Unfortunately, there's not an alternative that I can afford that is electric. But obviously, I've put an order in for the Cybertruck, so I'm looking forward to that. However, with my diesel vehicle, even though it's diesel and it builds revs fairly early, there's still a gap in boosts before the turbos spool up. Pretty much every diesel is, has a turbo. And I still have a gap where I press the accelerator and have to wait a second or two. Often have to anticipate this wait when I drive into traffic. And the awesome thing is with an electric car, you don't have to anticipate the accelerator having a lag point where you've got to wait and think, well, I'm not going to get anywhere for a second or two while the revs build up. With an electric car, you have instant acceleration which makes driving much easier, which makes overtaking much easier, which makes merging into a, a, a three-lane road much easier, which makes doing all kinds of things in traffic much easier. Number 50, three engine choices with unbeatable range and performance for the price. I think one thing people are overlooking is getting to choose between having one, two, and three motor options. And you probably already know what the three engine choices are, but for those that don't, I'll quickly run through those. There is the single motor rear wheel drive, and the, that's the base model, Cybertruck, and it comes with 250 miles of range. As I mentioned before, those are 0 to 100 in 6.5 seconds. Now this model costs only 40,000 US dollars, and I think that's an absolute bargain. Australians in particular, I don't know about other countries. The next spec up, is the mid-spec dual motor, which is all-wheel drive as it has a motor on the front of the car and a motor at the back. The dual motor comes with 300 miles of range, costs 50,000 US dollars, and is, I believe, the most popular option of the three models from what I've seen from the Tesla tracker. I'll put a link to the Tesla tracker in the description. The third model is the tri-motor all-wheel drive also all drive as I mentioned. This model comes with 500 miles of range which is absolutely massive and far more than any other electric vehicle on sale including those from Audi and Porsche of course. The Tri-Motor does out of 60 in 2.9 seconds as I mentioned. There's no other pickup including Rivian or GM or the insanely expensive Hummer that is offering anywhere near this range or acceleration for the price that Tesla is. It's an insane, it's an insane deal for that money. So that's the model I've ordered, the Tri-Motor. Number 51, advanced safety features. The Cybertruck will without question be the safest pickup in the world. And how do we know that? Even though it hasn't been tested yet, well, number one, it's made of cold rolled stainless steel. That's huge. But beyond that, the fact that the Tesla Model 3 and Model S are the number one and number two safest cars in the world gives us a pretty good idea that the Cybertruck will be the safest truck ever made. Number 52. The Cybertruck will come with a full suite of advanced safety features that will be an improvement over Tesla's current safety suite. Now that's something people probably don't consider. Tesla is constantly improving their features and especially the safety features of their vehicles. So by the time you get your Cybertruck, if you've pre-ordered one, in 2022 your Cybertruck will have even more, even more advanced safety features than a Tesla Model S or Model 3 has now. That's something to really look forward to. Number 53. A lot of people don't realize that having an engine high up in a vehicle, especially high up in a truck is a significant detraction to handling. So the advantages of, of having an electric truck are huge because the main weight of the car is in the base of the car. So the batteries are stored in the base of the car. So that means the center of gravity is much lower. Whereas with a truck, obviously the engine is high up. So the center of gravity is much higher. Now having the batteries lower in, the, in a truck, especially in a truck, which is sometimes often high riding. So, you know, let's say you're driving along in your cyber truck and you've put the suspension to its high setting. Well, it's gonna be in that situation, you'd notice it even more having that center of gravity lower in the vehicle. And that'll provide much greater stability, much greater handling. So you're gonna have greater handling in a cyber truck versus pretty much any other ICE pickup truck on the market. Number 54, Teslas have incredible infotainment and high-tech features. Now, most people that don't own a Tesla or haven't been in a Tesla don't realize just how cool some of these features are. And really, the list is quite long, so I won't go through them, but um, I'll share a link to Tesla's high-tech features in the description, so you can have a look there. Number 55, the Cybertruck will come standard with the 17-inch widescreen from the Model S. So it's safe to assume that it will also come standard with the following Model S infotainment and high-tech features. I love the fact that you can just sit and relax and watch YouTube or Netflix 
Netflix movies on the big screen. And really, the only cars you can do this on that I know of are Teslas. I haven't seen any screens anywhere near this big in any other vehicles. And as far as I can tell, those other vehicles aren't set up to just chill and watch movies or surf the net, surf, watch YouTube videos. So that's one of the cool things about Teslas and about the new Cybertruck. Number 56, this is a really, really cool feature. And I think a game changer for a reason why you should buy a Tesla versus other manufacturers. So with Tesla's mapping system, you actually can put in a destination point and Tesla can tell you where you should charge your vehicle on the way if you need to or if you don't need to. And it can map that waypoint out for you. So you just have peace of mind. So you don't have to worry about, is my battery gonna go flat? You know, if I'm driving from say, um, San Diego to Portland, do I, will I need to charge on the way? And it'll tell you where you need to charge and basically have that peace of mind. Number 57, live traffic visualization and satellite view maps make getting to your destination super easy. Now, this is slightly different to number 56. Having the live traffic visualization will actually give you a better idea of how long it will take you to get to your destination. Number 58, location aware automatic garage door opener, which will automatically open your garage from inside your car. That's pretty cool. You don't have to do anything. As soon as you just drive into your driveway, it will begin to open your garage and you can just drive straight in. That's kind of a fun feature, I think. Number 59, a digital camera based rear view mirror setup, similar to what's in some trucks already on the road, in which a live feed of what's behind the truck is beamed to a rear view mirror shaped screen. That's pretty cool too. Number 60, the 17 inch screen is really useful for tradespeople to answer or write emails or do any other work related stuff. Often as a tradesperson, you need to write down information and this is a, having a big screen like this is really useful for doing that kind of thing, writing emails, etc. Number 61, the ultimate gaming platform and the internet functionality with Tesla's signature array of video streaming, access to Netflix, etc. and all the usual high tech media features. They're really cool, but let's get back to the gaming. If you like gaming and you're sitting around your board, it's pretty cool to have that option where you can play games in your Tesla. And it's pretty cool that they even put new games up every now and again, maybe once a month or once every two months, they put a new game up. And now I've, from what I can see, the word is that they're gonna make porting games to the platform much easier. So there's gonna be much more, many more options, gaming options. Number 62, all Cybertruck models come with one year complimentary premium connectivity. Number 63, Easter eggs. If you don't know or have never heard of a Tesla Easter egg, then pause this video and go Google it. Tesla Easter egg. Number 64, the most important feature that will likely be usable without monitoring by 2024 will be full self-driving. This is a game changer. If you can sit in your Cybertruck and not have to drive it, go to sleep, that is huge. Now, hopefully, I'm hoping that our government will give us the option of being able to not drive our self-driving Teslas. And I believe this will happen by around about, like I said, 2024. So fingers crossed. But even right now, you can put on full self-driving if you've purchased that option and you can, with very, very limited intervention, drive a long way. You could probably pretty easily drive from Melbourne to Sydney with almost no intervention. But by 2024, I believe that full self-driving will be in full operation and you will have the choice to drive or not drive your vehicle. Maybe even to put it in part of a robo taxi fleet and make money of it while you're asleep or while you're not using it. That would be awesome. Number 65, I call this style. Many people are polarized by the look of the Cybertruck, but personally, I'm a big fan of the design philosophy of function over form. And for this reason, I think it is the best looking vehicle on the market. In fact, I actually think it's the best looking vehicle ever made. And I think it's the most iconic looking vehicle ever made. If you look at this video, you can see it stands out. People notice it. And I actually think it looks a little bit like a Lamborghini truck would look. Number 66, off-road and on-road performance. The Subtruck has adaptive air suspension. No other truck on the market has this right now. But let's be frank here, let's set the record straight. There are people on YouTube saying that the Cybertruck will have 16 inches of ground clearance. This, in my opinion, regardless of where they got this information from, if Elon said it or not, I think this is nonsense. I think it's extremely unlikely that a Cybertruck will have 16 inches of ground clearance, but it will have a lot of ground clearance no matter what. And without doubt, it will have more ground clearance than any other truck on the market in 2022. No one has this option at all, let alone potentially eight inches of ground clearances, clearance, which is what I think it will have. Current driver says this, all Cybertrucks have an adjustable air suspension that can be raised or lowered on the fly and provides up to 16 inches of ground clearance. Add that to its 35 degree approach and 28 degree departure angles and the Tesla pickup could prove to be a formidable off-road machine. So they're not alone in claiming the 16 inch ground clearance. 
Teslarati also claim that it will have 16 inch ground clearance. Like I said, I think this is bogus. I'll eat my shorts if this ends up being true. I predict we'll have eight inches max. That's still awesome though. Number 67. Even with only eight inches of ground clearance, this is a huge advantage for off-road purposes, like water crossings, for example. There are currently no pickups with adaptive air suspension on the market. Reason number 68. The adjustable air suspension is very important for other reasons as well, because it enables the rear of the vehicle to angle downwards so that the Cybertruck's built-in loading ramp can angle properly down towards the ground. This makes it much easier to drive things straight onto the bed. I've tried driving things onto a bed of a trailer and of a truck and found it very difficult because of the angle of the actual loading ramps. So you need really, really long loading ramps to load things onto a truck unless you have air suspension which lowers the rear of the truck downwards, meaning the angle to drive things on is much, much less acute. No other manufacturer has a similar feature and they've never even thought of this feature before. This is a game changer. Number 69, the Cybertruck comes with 35 inch tires as standard. You can always go smaller, but it's often difficult to go bigger. So most trucks you buy, if you want to put tires that size on them, you've got to do things, you've got to modify the car, you've got to put on sometimes a different track, you've got to put on guards so that it doesn't look ridiculous because you've got tires sticking out. Sometimes government rules won't let you have tires, large tires sticking out if you buy a standard truck you want to go and modify it with 35 inch tires you've got to pay for those tires that costs you money there's heaps of things on the cyber truck that come standard not just these tires that you would usually have to go and buy and a lot of people do go and buy those so you're saving money number 70 since electric motors have essentially 100 percent of all available torque at zero rpm that bodes pretty well for superior trail performance there's a lot of times where people stall their vehicles when they're full driving or they lack torque at low rpms so that's a huge advantage so number 71 mentions something that might sound similar to what i said before but it's actually different the ground clearance now another benefit of the ground clearance is that when you don't need it you can drive at a lower height to save fuel costs and give better handling so say you want to do driving on the freeway you could lower your air suspension to the lowest possible setting and then you're going to get to a point where your aerodynamics are going to be significantly better than other trucks number 72 the Cybertruck has a functional wraparound rock rail this will protect the passenger doors and the exposed rear quarter panels. Number 73, underneath the Cybertruck there's a completely flat belly. This is where the battery packs are kept and a long A-arm independent suspension at each corner. Having a flat belly is a huge advantage for forward driving and going off-road. Number 74, traction control is amazing in an electric vehicle. The Cybertruck will have a dedicated screen to allow the driver and passengers to monitor things like wheel angle, tire pressures, suspension compression and extension, and which tire has the most or best traction. Number 75, digital side mirrors mean no side mirrors to smash when you go off-roading. Now I know people are saying Cybertruck won't be legal because it's got no side mirrors, rah, 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 it's just ridiculous. Obviously, if you buy a Cybertruck and in your area you need to have mirrors on the side of your car, physical mirrors, then Tesla will provide you with the option of having physical mirrors. Uh, but if you're in an area like many parts of Europe where you don't need physical mirrors and you can use digital mirrors, then you'll be able to get that choice, have that choice. And that's a huge advantage, not having mirrors. You can't get, the mirrors don't get smashed when you're parking the car or damaged when you're parking it or damaged when you're off-roading. Number 76, the Cybertruck has ultra strong glass windows that are designed to cushion and avert impact force. This to me is a huge benefit for off-roading, for parking your car in areas where it could get damaged. I love this feature. Number 77, what is the point of great off-road performance if you can't go camping? Tesla will offer a camping package with a polygonal tent, which will be a raised sleeping floor for the bed and a slide out electric stove that runs off the battery pack. Number 78, solar charging will work very well in our hot Australian climate. Or if you're in North America, well, if you're in Phoenix or Los Angeles, California, Texas. It's going to be great for you guys too. Or if you're in Africa. Anyway, you get the point. There's lots and lots of hot countries that can that will benefit from having a solar panel on the roof. You can't charge your petrol car with a solar panel, as far as I can tell. Number 79. There's a trick up Cybertruck sleeve on how it winds up a cover into its bed. And it also doubles up, like I said, as solar cells. Tesla says you can also walk on the on the actual cover of the of the bed as well. Now, to me, this bed cover is, is extremely important for tradies because it means that having a lockable bed cover will mean that your tools are unlikely to get stolen, as I mentioned before. Number 80, Tesla Camp Mode. 
Tesla has said they're going to bring out a mode for the Cybertruck called Tesla Camp Mode, where you'll be able to sleep in the bed and they'll be able to condition the bed area for sleeping. So say it's really cold, they'll be able to have the heater on low so that you'll be able to not freeze your ass off. Number 81, Tesla Dog Mode. Tesla Dog Mode, if you haven't already heard of this, it keeps the cabin cool for your dogs or pets or tigers or whatever animals you want to keep in your Cybertruck. And it also says on the screen for passers-by to have some peace of mind and know that your dog's not roasting, that Dog Mode is turned on. Number 82, Massive towing power is perfect for camping. The Cybertruck has massive, massive towing power. It has best in range towing power. And for us Aussies who are waiting for the Cybertruck to come out, there's lots of us, uh, it'll have the best towing of any vehicle on sale in Australia that isn't some highly modified or super expensive vehicle that was imported especially. Standard, it's the highest towing ute truck, we call them utes here, on the market. The single motor rear wheel drive base model will tow up to 7,500 pounds. So that's already more than most of our trucks, we call them mutes, like I said, will tow now over here. But that figure is upgraded to a huge 14,000 pounds on the tri motor. Every version has a payload of 3,500 pounds, which is also more than any truck we sell here. We currently have access to in Australia. So, like I said, those figures are class leading when compared to unmodified similar size pickup trucks from Ford, GM, and Ram. Reason number 83. The heat pump from the Model Y will give a huge energy saving in cold weather. So I'll leave a link in the description for Sandy Munro's video about the Tesla heat pump, which is far more advanced than any other heat pump. So what this means is that when you're driving in super cold weather, like in northern, northern Canada, or even Canada, even northern North America, northern United States, it's very cold. And in cold climates, the temperature can affect the battery's performance. But having the new heat pump, which is in the Model Y and the Model 3 as well actually, will give your electric vehicle similar performance as to what it will have in warm temperatures. So that is a big deal. If you don't believe me, go and watch Sandy Munro's video. He talks about how big of a deal it really is. Number 84, there will be no need to modify your Cybertruck with a flotilla of auxiliary lights like an old Jeep to get better visibility after dark or on off-road trails, far from the glow of street lamps. In addition to the LED mono headlight spanning the width of the truck's front end, there's also a second auxiliary light bar installed at the top of the windshield. The combination of that lamp and the headlight bar is pretty sweet, and it follows the Cybertruck's hard edges perfectly. The top and bottom built-in light bars will give even more visibility, save you money for those that would otherwise buy these, and help people to see animals and obstacles unlit roads. Let's face reality here, probably 50% of truck buyers buy additional lights for their trucks. Um, with a Cybertruck, you don't need to do that. Number 85, the best part of owning a Tesla. Free regular updates to the vehicle's operating system that will improve the vehicle's performance and enjoyment, e.g. They, these updates in the past have improved power, range, efficiency, added games, features to the infotainment system, uh, the list goes on and on and on. They've literally added hundreds of things, hundreds of features. In fact, many people have just tweeted Elon that they've wanted something and he's said, okay, and it's been up, that that new feature has gone up within months. You can't tell me that any other CEO in the world does that for anything that I'm aware of. Number 86, a lot of people say, when should I buy? When should I buy? Should I buy now or should I buy in six months? Or should I, this is the kind of thing that I see all over forums. When should I buy my vehicle, truck, car, whatever it is? People are afraid that they're gonna miss out on new features because a new product's coming out. That's the great thing about Tesla. You're usually not gonna miss out. It's highly unlikely you're gonna miss out on any features because a lot of the features Tesla offers are software driven. And this means they can be added to cars already produced via over the air updates. This means you really don't have to worry about missing out on the latest and greatest features no matter when you buy because more than likely, you're not gonna miss out. Number 87, engineering integrity and strength. Tesla will be using an 8,000 ton casting press to make the Cybertruck's single piece rear underbody. This is gonna give that around underbody huge strength. Elon said in January 2021, we're going to use even bigger casting machines for the rear body of the Cybertruck because it's a bigger vehicle and you've got a long truck bed that's going to support a lot of load. So we'll be using an 8,000 ton casting press for the rear body casting, as opposed to the 6,000 ton for the Model Y. Musk pointed out that the Model Y's casting press machine used, used to be the biggest in the world, but with the new press that has 2,000 pounds more force than that used for the Model Y, 
Tesla's Cybertruck casting press machine will be breaking that record by a huge margin, so it'll be by far the biggest press in the world. Making large parts of the body in one piece will be much better than what other manufacturers do, which is join lots of different pieces together through welding and other methods. In my opinion, you should order immediately. I believe that by 2024, Tesla's Cybertruck pre-orders will stretch out to 2028. So I think there's gonna be a four year waiting list for this vehicle. I'm confident that over the next two years, people will get used to the new look and realize that the Cybertruck has far more utility than any traditional pickup on the market and value and performance and everything else. Total Cybertruck reservations as of February, 2021. As you can see here, showing the Tesla Cybertruck reservation tracker, at the time this video was recorded, but most certainly by the time you watch this video, there was 857,000 Cybertruck reservations worldwide. By the time Cybertruck will be mass produced by the middle of 2022, there will be over 1 million pre-orders. In just the time it took me to rec record and create this video, one week, an additional 8,000 pre-orders were added to that total. The only other vehicle ever made that had more than 100,000 pre-orders was the Model 3. Consider the fact that we're talking 10x of 100,000, over 1 million pre-orders. Now I know the Model 3 had, what was it, about 400,000 pre-orders, but over 1 million is next level. And I believe that Tesla potentially may never catch up to the orders that come in for the Cybertruck. So if you got all the way to the end of this amazingly long Tesla Cybertruck features list, then well done. You've done very well. And I'm sure by now you'll realize that the Tesla Cybertruck is going to be the greatest vehicle ever produced on the planet. I'm convinced and I'm just showing you why. And I think those are some pretty compelling reasons. Now, thank you for watching the channel and supporting the channel just by watching, you're supporting the channel and I appreciate it. It helps me to make more videos.